So let's go ahead and take care of this y.8, y.8. So we're going to use inverse operations to solve these problems. So the inverse operations, well, let's start with the operations, operations or addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. So the opposite of addition is subtraction. The opposite of multiplication is division. So what I want to do when I look at 5 equals 3 plus 2G, and 2G is really 2 times G. It's really 2 times G. So I'm going to put a little times there to remind myself. All right. I want to have the variable on one side, and I want to have the numbers on the other side. So right now, I have 5 on one side. That's good. But I need to get 3 over there, and I need to get 2 over there. So let me show you how we're going to do all of that. All right. So we're going to use the inverse operation. So there's really a positive three. That's really a positive three. And the opposite of addition is subtraction. So I'm going to subtract on both sides. All right. Now, five minus three leaves me with two. Three minus three leaves you with zero. And since you have zero, to be honest with you, you can just keep it, get rid of it. All right. Just get rid of it. So we can that cancels each other out because positive three minus three leaves you at zero. And that leaves you with two G. Now, two G is really two times G. So the opposite of multiplication is division. So I'm going to divide by two to separate two and two G. To, all right, so I'm going to go 2 divided by 2. I have to divide on both sides. I have to do the same thing on both sides, 2 over 2G, okay? So 2 over 2 is 1. If you're using Desmos, let's say that you uh, use Desmos. So you went to Desmos, the ESMOS. Uh, I like the scientific calculator, all right? So if I did two divided by two, the answer is one. All right, you saw that, right? That's how we got the answer one. So let's continue. One equals two over two is one G. Now, I can get rid of this one in front of the variable. I don't have to put a one in front of the variable. So the answer would be one equals G. So now I'll put a one here, one equals G. Let's see if I'm correct. Let's see if I'm correct. Great work, okay. All right, so let's move on and do the next one. Next one is 2H plus 5 equals 9. Well, we want to go ahead and say 2H, we want to solve for H, so I need to get the 2 away from the H. But first thing I want to do is get rid of this 5 and move this 5. So I'm going to subtract 5 on both sides of the equation. All right? So 2H comes down. That just comes straight down. All right, that's still around. All right, positive five minus five leaves you with zero. And since it's zero, I can just leave it blank. Nine take away five is four. So now I need to separate the two from the H and that's really a two times H. So what I'm gonna do is divide by two on both sides. All right, and so that leaves me with H because two over two is really one. There's really a one in front of this H, but I don't have to write it. It's really a one. It's really there, but I don't have to write it. Four divided by two is two. H equals two. So I'm gonna tap here, type in my two. That's right. So that's as simple as it gets. Those are the first two. So hopefully doing those two will be helpful to you. So 
Um, go ahead and finish the rest of them yourself, okay? <laughs> 